To deeply understand the concept of the electric field, we can examine electric potential energy, Newtonian mechanics, and the structure of the gravitational field together. The classical formula for energy change can be expressed as an integral. Here, x represents the position of the particle and r represents its acceleration. When a particle moves between positions a and b, the integral of the force is equal to the change in energy between these two positions. If we consider this force to be electric force, we arrive at the concept of the electric field. The electric field is derived from the charge Q2 in Coulomb's force. Here, Q2 is positive, while Q1 is negative. Electric field lines always point from positive charges toward negative charges. For positive charges, the field is directed outward. For negative charges, it is directed inward. This is because the source of the electric field is positive charges. While a negative charge experiences the electric field directed inward, a positive charge experiences it directed outward. This situation is related to Faraday's law of induction anyway. At this point, we express the electric force in terms of the electric field. In this way, the energy change formula can also be defined using the electric field. The fixed charge Q1 can be factored outside of the integral. Here, we must consider the type of energy. Charged particles are not required to move toward each other. Their separation can remain constant at a position vector x. This indicates the existence of electric potential energy which is usually represented as delta u. And delta u is equal to the integral electric field. In the model, the blue lines represent the electric field lines. If the charge of the positive particle is switched to negative, the electric field connection between the particles disappears. When we number the electric field lines, we see that the field is essentially the sum of these lines. Just as we calculate the area of a rectangle by multiplying its length and width, the electric field can be seen as being composed of these lines. This approach reminds us of the principle of superposition. If multiple particles exist, we obtain the total field by summoning the electric field lines produced by each particle. Instead of labeling each electric field line as 1, 2, 3, if we label them as I, 1, I2, I3, and consider a particle that contains all the details of each positive charge, then the electric field should actually be the sum of all the electric field lines. We can think of the electric field as the sum of all the electric field lines using the total field formula. We can even consider these electric field lines as the positive charges of an atomic particle, as if each positive charge inside corresponds to one electric field line. Well, something like that. If we continue with the formula, here is the position vector. Since Ke is a constant, it can again be taken outside. This gives us the total electric field formula.
if we want to examine the existence of the electric field at a specific point, we record the electric field lines emanating from the positive Q2 particle as they pass through that specific point. In this case, we extend the total electric field formula into an integral, and by approaching a specific position infinitely closely, the electric field at that point is calculated. Here, S is also a position vector. Sometimes it can be written like this too. Anyway. The most important feature of the electric field is that it must be considered in three dimensions. For example, if we place a positive charge Q2 at the origin of a Cartesian coordinate system and a negative charge Q1 on the x-axis, the electric field lines will be observed in the x, y, and z directions. Similarly, if we place masses EM1 and M2 in the same coordinate system, we would instead observe the gravitational field in three dimensions. In general relativity, gravitational fluctuations, ripples in the fabric of space-time, can be modeled in a way analogous to the electric field. The attractive or repulsive effects in an electric field can be described as properties created in space by charged particles. In short, the electric field is a fundamental property of the space created by charged particles, and it is one of the most essential concepts in the study of electricity and electromagnetism.